happy Monday, fifth grade. I hope you guys had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I hope you had a lot of rest. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you're ready for your math benchmarks tomorrow. Um, and in the meantime, I am excited to begin report period two with you guys and our beautiful new book, Thunder Rolling in the Mountains. But in order to get us ready, we need to have a little bit of background knowledge about some of the tumultuous history between Native Americans who were indigenous peoples of this country and the early, early settlers, the white men that came from Europe. So in order for us to learn more information about this, I have collected a few resources that I want you guys to explore today for your class. We wanna try to aim to answer this question for this report period. We wanna answer how do the beliefs and values of a culture guide the action of its people. And in order for us to do that, we need to learn more about the beliefs and culture of a people, especially Native American people and then the early um, Europeans who settled here. So in order to do that, I pulled a few resources that I think you guys are gonna love. There are videos, there are books, there are photographs, there are poems, and these are mostly from the voice of Native American people. So it's from their perspectives, they're telling their own stories. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig deep, dive into these resources, and then let me know what you've learned for a great today. So without any further ado, let me show you where everything is now on Schoology, and let's get started. Well, when you come into Schoology, um, the first place you wanna go to explore is report period two, it says who's home. You should see our story, thunder rolling in the mountains, um, as well as two images. Um, if you click here on the report period two, um, if you go here to Monday, November 16th, this is just gonna be an overview. So this is where you are right now. So in the day's overview, there are three things. Um, you can complete the homework from November 11th through the 14th. That's gonna be in the RP1 purple folder. Remember we did purple then yellow for B. Diedrichsen. This is all the homework that you had assigned after benchmark testing. So if you have not done that, that's a good place to start. Then if you have completed that homework, which I know a lot of you guys have done for those three days, um, you guys are gonna start checking out some of the resources in the building background knowledge folder, and I'm gonna show you where that is. And then if you would like to receive extra credit and then get some extra points for participation today, um, you can read any or watch any of the videos um, in those folders, any of the poems, any of the book chapters, any of the videos, and then give me a gist um, no, no less than two paragraphs. Again, you're gonna give me a gist. I would like to see no less than two paragraphs, especially if you're challenging yourself by reading some of those um, college level texts that I posted up for you today. All right, so let me show you where everything is. Um, if you go to reading to um, reading who's home for report period to one place you can go to gain that background knowledge is here. It says building background knowledge, Native American history. There's a photograph of Chief Joseph who, from the um, Nimi Poo tribe. We're gonna learn more about him and his daughter in the book, Thunder Rolling in the Mountains. And just a family from the Nimi Poo tribe um, and how it looked back in the day. So if you click here, these first three assignments are the same exact assignments that you guys have for homework. So if you did this first one, who are Native Americans, um, you watched the videos, you explored these two links, you wrote down um, the four things you've learned, then you're good, right? So this was exactly what was given for homework. Um, same thing with introduction to the Nez Pierce, um, the Nimi Pu tribe, and Hero Horses War Broken Promises. Again, these came directly from the homework from last week. Some new things that you can take a look at. Um, Nez Pierce Country, chapter one before the white man. This is a source that came from University of Penn. So if you click here, it's gonna take a minute to load. You can read more about this tribe that we're gonna be learning about in Thunder Rolling in the Mountains and a little bit about what life was like before um, Europeans or the white man came and took over their land. So this is one where you can write a two paragraph summary about what you've read. For all of those who want a challenging reading, this is a good place to go. 
There are also three videos that are posted, and I think that even if you feel like you don't want to do a reading, or if you want to do a reading but you don't necessarily want to watch the videos, I think there's a lot to learn in these videos. So the first one is about reservations, life on the reservations, which is also important as we read this book because we are under we understand that some people, especially um, in this tribe, were forced to live in reservations. What does that mean? Um, the second is a really beautiful talk, TED talk. This man gives us the history of Native American, um, um, the history of what happened to Native American people around the time of Lincoln and the Emancipation Proclamation and Christopher Columbus um, and what life was like in some of these indigenous schools, the boarding schools that Native Americans had to go to um, where they literally like beat their culture out of them. Um, these were government run schools. So this is important to watch. And last but not least, the importance of language in Native American culture and what that means now in two, two, 2020 where language is now fading. And then last but not least, because I know I've been talking for a minute, there are books that I've collected from my library, um, The Wisdom of Native Americans, Legends and Myths, and an article on Chief Joseph. If you click on this first one, you'll be able to explore three books and an article about Indian reservations. And last but not least, here are some famous poets that are known, um, and these come from Native American um, tribe. So Michael Wasson, he is part of the um, Nez Perce, the Mimi Pu tribe. There's a poem from him. Sherman Alexi, a really um, acclaimed author, he wrote a poem called Victory, talks about um, sports and like the poverty on reservations. This is nice. It's a good one to read. Um, Hyde E. Edrick's Peace Path and Ophelia Zapita's Carrying Our Words. These are pretty short poems. Um, this one's really powerful. So all of these resources are available to you. Once you've picked a few that you really like that you resonated with, then I want you to come to Monday's folder. And here's where you can tell me what assignments you worked on and then write your gist or your summary for the videos, the poems, or the book articles. So I hope this was helpful and I cannot wait to see what you guys learned.